what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so news came out this week that marion chambers the uh nurse and the partner of doc dr loomis that we saw in the original film 1978 john carpenter's halloween she is set to re she is set to be brought back on for halloween kills the sequel to the 2018 film which is the sequel to the 1978 film uh, i said it that way on purpose to confuse you guys because that's how i feel about the timeline at the moment uh but anyway blumhouse has casted the lady who played her nancy stevens nancy stevens has been casted to reprise her role of nurse marion chambers uh this would be like her first appearance in the franchise if i'm not mistaken since halloween h2o all the way back from 1998 the year i was born <laughs> but yeah uh so 20 years she's been away from the franchise she also was so she's been in the original film uh she was in she was in that for like a brief second just just to get her car stolen and then everything else after that was dr loomis she was in uh halloween 2 from 1981 and then she was also in h2o so this would be her fourth film in the franchise um I, it's going to be interesting to see what her what her character does because i want i think that what they're going to do is they're going to use her to kind of give give that nostalgic type of uh nod to dr loomis and kind of just make mention and that might be like the on-screen tribute to the legacy of the character of dr loomis and like donald pleasance as an actor and his contributions to the franchise i think she's gonna share some light on how loomis was in between the 40 years from the 78 film and the 2018 film because keep in mind the 2018 film is a direct sequel to that film and it's set 40 years later so i think that's what her role will be she's gonna be like that buffer that fills in what happened with loomis in between that and I gotta rewatch the 2018 film to be certain, but I I don't think they made many any specific mentions of Chambers in the uh, 2018 film. I don't think they made many very mentions of Loomis either, other than saying that uh, he's Michael was kept under his care until he passed away. I think that's what was mentioned. Someone correct me down below, but I don't think they made any mention of Chambers in the 2018 film so it'll be interesting to see if she sheds light or how was she involved with that process was she still involved with loomis during his treatment with michael after the events of 1978 she she'll probably be shedding light on what happened with loomis and then we'll also be seeing how she dealt with it uh we might also get flashbacks i i think that's what i've been seeing appear up online like they've been there's been some things getting leaked online of them filming flashbacks and the mask uh the mask once again looks very good from what I, from what i'm seeing from a distance because that's how we saw the 2018 films mask originally we saw it from a distance in a in a photo that was shared or leaked online the mask looks pretty good i'm interested to see how the mask is going to look after what happened at the end of the 2018 film and i'm interested to see if they're going to give michael his fingers back if they give michael his fingers back i'm going to be disappointed i'm also going to be disappointed if there's no signs of burns on this mask because the whole the whole idea here is that you're not supposed to know if he's supernatural or not but he was never supposed to be you were never supposed to get like a concrete answer but still at the same time he wasn't literally supernatural it's the way he was appearing on screen the way they shot the character so him being in a room full of fire and then appearing without any burns on him that's not gonna make it up for debate anymore you're establishing him as some supernatural being now of course that doesn't mean he's supernatural this is a movie perhaps he did make it out of that fire without getting any burns on him but that's that's a little ridiculous to me uh let me know what you guys think about the character returning down in the comment section below what do you think she's going to offer to the series or to the film uh if you haven't already make sure you subscribe or turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video